Hello, everyone. I'd like to thank you for taking part in the training. I'm Yohun from the training team. Today, I will I will introduce a new product, NF five one eight zero M M five server. After the training, I hope all of you have a good knowledge of the server. The features of the server, the maintenance of the server, and uh, um, the assembly of the server. Okay, well, at first, I want to ask uh, one question. Do you know the meaning of the name? I mean, I mean, so, do you know the means of the server name? Why? We call the server NF5180 M5. As we all know, we have seen we have seen the NF5280 M4 server, SA5212 M4 server, and the NF5580 M4 server. So what what is the mean of the name? Now I tell you, the NF means the server is the rack server. The first number of the first number means uh, uh, the the CPU uh, the CPU the numbers of the number of the CPU. So the file means the server is a du the dual process server. It means the uh, the server can support support uh, up to uh, two uh, CPU CPUs. The second number means the heat of the server. If the number is one, it means the server is a one U server. If the number is two, it means the server is a two U server. The server's heat is two U. Okay, the, the third number means the classes of the server. The, the, fourth, the fourth number means uh, the, the time of the server. For example, we, we, we often say the, 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 the fourth number is zero. It means the server is a, a standard server. Also, we can, we can see the number uh, is the eight. For example, the NF file to 88M file server. The 8 means the server is a GPU server. Also, we can see uh, the, the, the first number is 6. It means the server is a storage server. The M file means the server is the generation, the server's generation. For example, uh, the the previous generation is M4. The M5 is the new the newest generation uh, of Intel server. Now we are uh, design now now Intel uh, is design the 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 M6 generation server, but uh, the server uh, haven't uh, haven't been marketed. <coughs> So, uh, so let uh, let get us started the training. This page I choose the catalog of the the catalog of the training. Uh, I I have divided the, the training into the following parts. The part one, um, product introduction. From this part, I have introduced uh, the features uh, of the server, the pictures uh, of the server, uh, the front panel, the real panel, and the internal pictures of the server. The part two, functional model introduction. From, from this part, I will uh, introduce the, the motherboard layout, the block diagram, di di uh, Installation principle of the memory. The part three, assemble and debugging. 
This part I will I will teach you how to assemble and uh, disassemble the parts of the server. The last part, maintenance. The, this part I mainly po I mainly uh, introduce uh, how to refresh the firmware of the bounce and the BMC. So let's start the part one. Product introduction. This page I show the uh, brief introduction of the of the new product NF five one eight zero M five. NF5180 M5 is a high-end venue uh, dual process recommend server based on the new generation of Intel uh, Zero uh, scalable processors. It is designed to satisfy cloud computing and big data applications that require high performance but with space constraints. The server maintains the high quality and the high uh, re reliability as the Inspire servers has been known for. Consider to the in performance storage and uh, uh, expandability, return an innovative breakthrough in computing power, expandability flexibility and uh, intelligent management. I have listed the uh, key points. The R2 high performance. The server can support uh, up to two, uh, 205 watt uh, CPU. The CPU model is a sky like the newest uh, model of Intel. And the all NVMe configuration, the NVMe uh, SSD. I have introduced uh, the uh, the SSD, the the new model SSD in the uh, previous training. It provides it provides the highest computing power in limited space. As we all know, the value is the uh, is the it have have a limited space. Extreme expandability. The server supports three precise expansion slots in value height, providing possibility for multi I/O application acceleration. The rich page shows a roadmap of the value server of Inspire. In the previous generation, we, uh, Inspire has uh, two products, the NF5180 M4 and uh, the NF5170 M4. I'm sorry, this part is have a run has a run knowledge. I will change it. This one is uh, the NF five one seven zero M four can only support the sixteen uh sixteen DDR DDR four demos because the the NF five one seven zero M four um. Only have only has sixteen uh, memory slots. In this year, uh, Inspire, in this year, uh, twenty eight years, uh, Inspire have uh, Inspire has designed the M five um, M five generation servers, uh, include uh, including the NF five one eight zero M five server. Also, Inspire uh, is designed the M6 uh, generation server. I think uh, um, in, in the end of the in, in the end of the 2019 years, uh, the M6 generation server will be marketed.
This page shows a product picture. As we can see the uh, AF51 M4 server. Uh, this one is the AF51 M4 server. The two products, the two products are similar, but they have some um, different place. I will introduce the different place later. This chart shows the um, features of the um, product. I have <coughs> I have type the uh, what type the read word. Um, the real word is the key point, key point, uh, because it is a difference place uh, between NF5180M5 uh, and NF5180M4 uh, server. <coughs> the CPU, uh, the M5 server can support two Intel Zero scalable process, but uh, the M4 generation server uh, uh, can support uh, the uh, Zero E5 generation uh, Intel CPU. The up to 205 watt uh, TDP CPU and uh, the UPI linkers can up to 10.5 GT per second. The memory, the server can support uh, up to 24 DDR4 DIMMs. It, it can support uh, RDIMM and LRDIMM and NVDIMM. It can support uh, up to 26, 16.6 MT per second. Per second. It is the speed of the memory. The previous uh, generation, the M the M4 generation, can only support uh, up to um 2,133 um, MT per second. The PCH, the PC, the chipset, the chipset uh, of the M5 server is the uh, C. The C six hundred, the C six hundred twenty PCH, but the M four server, M four server, uh, the chipset is the uh, C six hundred ten uh, chipset. The network, the M five server can support the OCP OCP slot, but the M four server cannot support the OCP slot. It can. The M5 server can support the uh, OCP C and OCP A and OCP B. Also, it can support the uh, standard PCI slot. The storage, it can support uh, uh, up to um, 4, 4 3.5 inches uh, uh, hard drive and uh, and uh, two. 2.5 inches uh, hard drive uh, in the front and uh, and two uh, 2.5 inches uh, hard drive in the rear and also it can support 10 10 2.5 inches uh, hard drive and uh, two this one is the view two uh, 2.5 inches hard drive. The PCI, the PCI, it can support up to three PCI expansion slots, inclu including one uh, half heat and uh, half LAN and uh, two uh, two uh, half 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 heat and uh, uh, half LAN cards. Half LAN cards. How long is this? This page shows the detailed. Shows the uh, uh, detailed features, the process type, the chipset, the chipset type, the memory, the memory slot 24, the memory capacity, 
up to 3 TB. The IO ports USB and the display port, one front VGA and one VGA. The, man the management point, one dedicated dedicated RG14 file NPMI management point. The video control and uh, the SAS back plan, the SAS back plan <coughs> can support the hot sweep, SAS set SID, MVM drivers. The management the management type when dedicated when sound uh, MB RJ14 file point for IPMI remote uh, management. We can we can use our we can use our computer um, uh, connector uh, to connect the server uh, directly. Uh, then we can manage the BMC uh, of the server remotely. From a BMC web, we can uh, we can manage and monitor the server. The networking <coughs> the network can support the OCP NIC and the standard PCI NIC. The PCI device is a detailed, detailed introduction. The OCP device, the Type A, Type B, Type C, supports OCP standard cards and the feed cards. The feed cards uh, is a Instead, instead, instead the, uh, on the OCPC slot and the OCP, OCP card, standard cards is, standard card, standard card is installed, uh, on the top A, the OCPA slot. The storage can support the SAS, the SATA, the SID, the MME, the SATA MD, uh, M.2, the PCI M.2 drivers. So, uh, if you if you don't understand uh, the uh the 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 drivers models, for example, you don't understand the NVMe SSD driver, you don't understand the uh M.2 driver, you need to find the knowledge of the driver from the internet. Okay, you can find the information some some information on our knowledge base. Okay, you need to learn from your by yourself. Everyone need to learn every day. The the external storage drivers, the power support two power, two power two PSU PSU power models. Support one plus one. We do, we do this. This one is the other information, including the, the weight and the environment uh, variables, the working temperature and the storage uh, transport uh, temperature, the working uh, humidity, humidity, the storage and the transport uh, humidity. I have make a summary of the uh the different space uh, between the NF5180 M4 and the NF5180 M5 server. The process, the KPI speed, the memory, the storage, and the I/O slot, the network. You need to uh you need to master all of this information. Of those information. This page shows the picture of the uh, product. The front, the front view, view, the front view. The three point, uh, uh, the three point five inches uh, hard drive configuration. This one is the two point five inches hard drive configuration. Configuration. The front panel view 
it can support uh, uh, four. 3.5 inches uh, and uh, two and uh, 2.5 inches uh, Java Java's one the two is the uh, 2.5 inches uh, SID Java's also we can we can it's 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 the it's we can also install the MMEs SID Java's the VGS, the VGA port, the front control panel, uh, including the uh, the the button, the power button, and the indicator. The the mounting eyes, the file is the mount is the mounting eyes. Six two nine are the three point five inches drivers. This one is the uh, this huge part USB point USB point power power button and uh, UID button network uh, uh network status uh, indicator memory error indicator power fuel indicator and overheat indicator fan fuel indicator and the system error indicator if 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 the some indicator uh uh, have a different uh, line. To, uh, it uh, it means the server has some uh, has some has have some error. They need to check uh, uh check the BMC web uh and uh, collect the logs, collect the logs from the from uh use by by our tools by our uh, log tools and uh, we uh, analyze uh, VI is the error. We, uh, which part is uh, bro broke broken? The <coughs> this page shows uh, two point five uh, inches uh, hard drive configuration. The front panel view. It can support uh, um, ten ten two ten uh, hard drive uh, of this configuration. The other information is a set, is a similar with the uh, with this configuration. This page shows the uh, real panel real panel. <coughs> you can see the real hard drivers and the the network uh, the the network interface the network. This one is the BMC point, BMC point, the VGA point, the USB point, and the UID point, the BMC reset button, uh, the U UID button, and the BMC reset button, the PSU model, the PSU0, and the PSU1. This picture has to this picture shows the, uh, the PCI configuration of the server. We can uh, we can install the butterfly router. It can support it can support uh, uh, two card, the four hit and uh, the half hit card. We can support uh, two. Uh, we can support uh, the OCP card or OCP card or the V card, the two PSU model. This page shows the picture, the picture of the product. We can see the hard from the uh, from. From the front to the view, uh, we can see from the front to the view, we can see the hard drive uh, and the fan, the fans, and the motherboard, the memory, the CPU, and the PCI the PCI card, and the PSU.
This one is the 2.5 uh, hard drive configuration. This one is the 3.5 uh, hard drive configuration. The longest and the height and the weight of the server. The motherboard picture. This one is the uh, this one is the uh, PCI slot. It can support the butterfly rather card. It is a PCI uh, 24 uh, slot slot. This one is a PCI PCI 16 slot. The CPU and the memory slots. From the part one, I have introduced the the the, the features of the product uh, and the pictures, the the front panel and uh, the rear panel, the 2.5 hard drives uh, hard drives configuration and the 3.5 hard drive configuration. So I think uh, all of you have uh, uh, have uh, have some have some knowledge of the, of this server. Of this product. The part two functional model instruction. This page I show a block, block diagram. From this page, we can see every CPU, each CPU can support uh, um, 12, 12 DIMMs. 12 DIMMs. It uh, it divide to it uh, divide into a six channel, six channel. Every channel can support uh, uh, two DIMMs, so every each CPU can support uh, can support uh, twelve uh, DIMMs. So uh, because the server can support uh, uh, up to two uh, CPUs, so the server can support up to twenty four uh, DIMMs. The PCI signal from the CPU to the slot, the OCP OCP uh, slot, the OCP C slot, the 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 signal the PCI signal of the OCP C OCP C is from the um, PH uh, chipset, the SATA M point two, the I O point, the USB point, the BMC. And uh, there are some OQ link point uh, on the motherboard. The, U the UPI the UPI link is between the the two CPUs. The motherboard uh, layout. One, two, three, four is the NVMe uh, Point, uh, it is the OQ link point. If we if we want if we want to configure the NVMe Java, we need to connect the NVMe point on our on the motherboard. The file the file is the OCPA slot. The six six is the UID UID button, the seven, the BMC reset button, the eight the VGA point, the six six is the TF card slot. We can configure the TF card to uh to store to store to to save the BMC logs. The real USB and the IPMI point. Uh, also, we can count the, the BMC point. The 12 is the PCI slot. We can install. We can uh, install the butterfly red card. The shorting is the OCP3, the OCPC slot. OCPC 
slot we can install the fake hard fake hard fake hard the 14 the the, the 15 the 16 and the set the is the setup point but uh, it is the setup point is the uh the four setup point uh, um together um uh, together and it be, it become the OQ link OQ link uh OQ link slot OQ link point so every OQ link point can support uh four hard drives the seventeen the OS TF count slot it can uh if we configure the OS TF card it can uh, save some drives, uh, some drives. Lighting, lighting is the MME point. We we should we we cannot we shouldn't uh confess confess the the file point because uh, because the because the 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 fourteen the 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 fifteen the sixteen is the set the is the is the OQ link of the SATA signals, but the but eighteen is the OQ link of the NVMe uh signal. It is the PCI signal. The twenty the twenty is also the uh NVMe is NVMe point. The twenty one, the PCI zero, uh, the PCI slot, the nineteen is also the OCP OCPS slot, the twenty two and the twenty three are the PCI slot, the twenty five and the the 24 is the backplane power connector, and the 25 is the COM0, is the internal COM, uh, theory, theory point, theory point. The 26 and the 20, 27 is, I, uh, is, is I2C signal connector. The 28 is the IPMB connector. The 29 is a front front panel control connector. The 13 is a chassis uh, interaction. The chassis interaction. When we when we remove the cover of the server, it, uh, uh, it will move it because we have installed the the chassis uh, interaction. The 13, 13 one. The 31 is the M.2 power connector. The, the 32, 32 is the backplane power zero. And the, the, 13, the 33, the 33 is the back, backplane power one. The 13 file, the 13 four to the, the 13 four and the 13 six, uh, the, the, the 13 4 is the, and the, and the, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. They are also, they are also the, uh, the fans, the fans connector. The 13, the 13, the 13, the 13 file, the uh, CPU 0, the 13 7, 37, the uh, CPU 1. The 136 is the memory. The 136 are the memories of the CPU 0. The 138 are the memories of the CPU 1. The other connector we can see the we can see the we can see the introduction. This page shows the installation of uh, the inst installation. Principle of the memory. We need to follow the installation um, 
installation in principle. For example, if we have configured two CPUs and uh, two memories, we need to uh, install the install the CPU zero and uh, CPU zero and the channel zero and the DIMM zero and uh, uh, of the CPU zero, and uh, also we need to uh, install the, uh, the other memories on the CPU one, the channel zero and the DIMM zero. We must uh, follow this uh, this principle. The detail we can see this uh, this sentence. From the part two, we have uh, we have known the multiple layout, the block diagram, and the installation principle of the memory. Now I I I introduce the uh, the part three. How to assemble and uh, disassemble the parts of the server? The motherboard. Hold by the two hand hand screws located locating in the front and the back and the back of the motherboard. Slowly put the motherboard into chassis. Apply screws in the location below. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. They are those, those uh, nine screws. The hard job back plan because uh, it can support uh, uh the can support four three point five inches hard job. So it have it has uh, uh have the three point five inches uh hard Java back plane. And re this one is uh, uh two the two point five uh hard Java back plane. I need to follow in the sentence um uh, to uh, install install the back plane. Assemble the back plane with the uh, back plane bracket, bracket, bracket using three screws. Due to uh, structure uh, reasons, all cables uh, must be connected to the back plane before installing the back plane into the chassis. Install the back plane with all cables connected into the chassis. Tighten the two zamba screws clockwise. Affix both sides of the back plane. Bracket to the chassis with two screws as shown in the picture. The reader's cross. Install two screws on the side of the chassis. Installing from 2.5 Inch has a uh, hard drive back plane. Align the back plane to the mounting holes of the front hard drive case and uh, fix the V2 screws. Install the drive case to the chassis to and uh, fix the V screws. Then have a drive case. We need to, we need to, uh, we need to <coughs> Uh, we need to install the back plane on the uh, drive kit and then install the drive kit to the chassis. This one is the uh, installation of the 2.5 inches hard drive configuration. I think uh, uh, it is the same. It is the same with the uh, 3.5. Uh, in chess, color Java configuration. This page shows the uh, this page shows the um into ins installation uh, uh solution of of 
of if we if we have different hard drives on the server. For example, we have the we the for example uh we have we we have installed the the all all NVMe configuration we need to follow this this package this pictures. If we if we have one NVMe hard drives and uh, three SAS drives, SAS SAS drives we need to follow this part. This one is the ten NVMe configuration. This picture is the two SAS hard Java and the eight NVMe hard drives. This picture is the six SAS hard Java and the four NVMe drives. We need to pay more attention of this part because we have we. Uh, because uh, sometimes we have different uh, configuration of the uh, of the hard drives. This this is the we have many plan types. This page shows uh, the uh, uh, installation of the OCP card or the fake card. The part, the step one. Install the to total of four practice mounting points polos next to the two cents of the card slot. The four plastic plastic uh, points polos. Insert the OCP or the fake card into the slot, and uh, confirm confirm the card. Is clipped into the mounting points plus. The step three install the metal card bracket bracket from the view of the chassis. Step four, a dummy model is required required if there is no add-on card is installed installed in the slot. The step five installation location OCP card probability is to the left card slot, fake card can only be installed to the right card slot. This one is the installation of the PCI expansion cards. We need to follow this uh, installation solution. So from the part three, from the part three, we have know how to how to assemble and uh, disassemble the parts of the of the server. The last part, the last part, the maintenance. I will mainly introduce uh, how to fresh the firmware of the bus and the BMC. The firmware update because the server the M file the M file the M file server we cannot uh, uh, update the uh, firmware under the DOS OS we need to uh, we need to um, update the firmware under the UEFI UEFI OS also we can uh, fresh the 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 bus uh, on the BMC web. This one this this page tells us uh, how to update the firmware uh, under the UEFI OS UEFI OS. We need to follow the steps, but uh, also we can uh, up, uh, Fresh the firmware on the BMC web. It is similar with the M4 uh, generation.
So that's all. Uh, I have I have completed the training. So I make a summary of the training. And I I I make the training from the four parts. The the product introduction and the functional model introduction, the assembly and the debugging, the maintenance. Every part I have introduced I have introduced some different different technologies. Different different technology. I hope everyone um, after the training everyone have a good knowledge of the server. If you if you have some uh, other questions, you you can send the email to me. So what uh, my email is? I have I will type on my email. If you have some uh, some um, questions, you can send an email to me. Also, we have the knowledge. We have we have the the other knowledge on our knowledge base. We can we can log in our log log on our knowledge base and find some other knowledge. Some other knowledge. The knowledge base. Find the NF. This one is the NF five one eight zero M M five server. The bar settings and the BM settings. The component details, the jumper introduction, the motherboard layout, and the related download. A related download, we can we can uh, download the BIOS firmware. Also, it tells us how to refresh the firmware. The BMC the BMC firmware. They tell me how to refresh the BMC firmware. The the through download the through and. Uh, Following the step to refresh the through. The technical uh, specification I have introduced uh, in our training. After the training, I will uh, upload, the, upload the, the, the training video. On uh on our node base, you can you can log on the node base and find the new the training the training uh and the training part and the new pro, new product training. You can find uh, uh, any other um, product uh, um training video. This one is the NF five one eight zero M five, the training materials material, and uh, I will upload uh, uh, upload the training video. Okay, thank you. I hope uh, you have a, a good training. Thank you. Bye.